How many of you saw the new Star Trek movie? Oh, good, because I haven't seen it yet. Is it true that there's a black hole in it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm talking about very relevant Hollywood issues here. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the notion of a black hole, and then I want to describe a way to help you understand what they are, and as we said in the title, why a trip into a black hole is probably a once-in-a-lifetime experience. <laughs> um, so, I think many of you know that stars are not forever. This is very sad, but on the other hand, they last a long time compared to your little brother, right? Uh, a star will last millions or billions of years, but ultimately all stars burn out. Now, before you get worried and contact your insurance agent, I want to tell you that the sun has at least five or six billion years to go. So we are not worried about the sun going out anytime soon. You still have time to not only join Team Steady, but enjoy all the benefits in years to come. On the other hand, the more massive the star, the sooner it dies. And so really big stars die more quickly, and in fact they have a very, very interesting death in store for them. Of little stars like our own sun, kind of fade away like Hollywood stars who've had a good career, <laughs> but things are over now. Big stars, on the other hand, have much more drastic ends, and I want to talk about the most drastic end that a star can suffer at the end of its life. Now, the idea is that stars hold up against gravity. Have you thought about this at all, especially the kids? Have you stayed awake at night worrying about why the sun doesn't collapse? <laughs> Has this kept you awake at night? It should. What's the sun made of? Gas. Yeah. Hot gas. Stars are giant balls of hot gas shining under their own power. I'm often asked how that definition differs from a politician. Uh, this <laughs> is a really <laughs> giant ball of hot gas. Um, anyway, so gas should collapse under its own weight. The Earth doesn't collapse, right, because it's solid. It's already collapsed. But stars should collapse unless something pushes back. And inside the sun and every star, there is a mechanism for making energy that pushes back. So what happens when that mechanism ends? What happens when stars run out of fuel, especially really big. And the answer is, gravity wins. Black holes are all about what happens when gravity wins. Now I'm going to tell you two versions of what happened when gravity wins. One is the children's version, and then, don't worry kids, I'm going to tell you the adult version of the story. So here's the children's version of what happens when gravity wins. When gravity wins, the star collapses. Scrunch! And as it collapses, no force we know of in the universe can stop the star from collapsing forever. Because we're talking about really huge, enormous, gigantic stars. So as the star collapses, its gravity becomes so strong that nothing, not even light, will eventually get away. Imagine something collapsing and collapsing getting more and more, can I use the technical term, squozen. <laughs> you know this word squozen? Orange juice makers use it a lot. Fresh squozen orange juice. <laughs> what does squozen mean? When you squeeze orange juice, what do you do? You compress the orange to get the juice out. So a fresh squozen orange is one that's been really compressed. A squozen star is one which is being compressed by its own gravity, falling in. So as the star gets more and more squozen, it's harder and harder to get away. Eventually, the star will get so squozen that the speed you need to escape from the star becomes greater than the speed of light. Now think about what it means if the speed you need to get away becomes greater than the speed of light. Well, if you're a beam of light, you won't be able to get away. 
And if you can't get away, and all light is trapped, what color will this star corpse be? Black. And if you had something that you actually accidentally threw in, like a teddy bear, would you ever get it back? No. No, light can't get away. Surely a teddy bear can't get away. So what do you call a place where you drop things and you don't get them back? A hole. A hole. And so astronomers have called these collapsed stars black holes. <laughs> That's it. That's the children's version.